Hey, it's Chris with the Super Fit Man. Kind of tired, that's why I got the shades on. Don't want you to see the bags under my eyes. But the reason why I press record in this video is to give you a step-by-step -step program to get your six pack. Now, a lot of guys want it, you know, I, I know, I hear it all the time on the superfitman.com website. I get all these questions on how to get lean, how to get a six pack, what's the easiest way to do it. And I just tell them, you gotta work out in the gym, man. <laughs> no, I don't tell them that. I give them a step-by-step -step program, which I'm gonna tell you right here what to do in order to get that six pack and you know, get it year round. You don't want to have it just for the summer where you're dirty bulking, you know, in the winter you're you're bulking up and then all of a sudden for the summer you think you're gonna miraculously get that six pack. I don't do that here. You know, I want that six pack year round for you. So here it is. You wake up in the morning, you do not eat breakfast. Now I preach fuck breakfast all the time. You know, Kellogg's was a very smart man good salesman and he sold everyone on breakfast how it's the most important meal of the day I don't believe it so intermittent fasting is a big part of getting a six-pack with ease there's ways around not doing intermittent fasting and getting a six-pack but I found that's the easiest way to get a six-pack and not eating breakfast makes everything so much more easier you're able to push your calories later on in the day so that's the first step. Do not eat breakfast. You need to push your meal five, six, seven hours, but I'm real lenient with it. Uh, if you really feel hungry, uh, you can eat in a matter of four hours, you know? Just do not eat breakfast and get something done with your life. Fitness is not the end all. It's not everything in your life. You know, you got other things going on. You wanna have that six pack and also carry on with your mission in life as a man. So you wake up, you don't eat breakfast, you hunt, like I say in all my videos, meaning you get shit done with your life, then you eat. That first meal, whatever it is, try not to have carbs. Have your carbs later on in the day, try not to have carbs that first meal. So. Again, I want it to be a step-by-step. -step. I want to be a little more specific here than my other videos. Have a salad with a protein on top. So have a, I love Greek salad. So I have a Greek salad with grilled chicken on top. That's my go-to meal if I'm trying to get lean. Don't have it with any bread. Don't have it with croutons. Be easy on the dressing. But a nice salad with grilled chicken will hold you down. So that could be your first meal, but before that first meal, if you find yourself getting real hungry and you haven't reached four or six hours in to your intermittent fast, have a little piece of fruit, have an apple, have a banana, have something just to hold you down for another hour or so. So have a salad with grilled chicken on top. So that's your first meal. Now, you're probably asking me, oh, what if I go to the gym in the morning? Or what if I have to go to the gym later? Uh, don't get too serious with it, man. It doesn't matter when you're consuming your food. A lot of people got it confused. Okay, I understand you need protein or they say you need protein right after your workout. Uh, you know, it, it is ideal to have a good amount of protein and carbs right after you work out but don't take it too serious in the beginning your main focus is to get lean in order to see your six-pack so when you have that first meal again it doesn't matter when you go into the gym you need to work it into your schedule a lot of people work uh, nine to five so if they need to work out right after work it works out perfectly so Let's just, for instance, say you work a nine to five. Let's use that as an example. I'm trying to be brief here. You know, I can't get into everyone's particular situation, but let's say you work a nine to five and you don't work out in the morning. You wake up, you go to work. You know, maybe have a little coffee to hold you down. No calories, you know, tops, 20 calories, a little splash of skim milk, but no calories coffee, green tea, whatever you need to hold you down in order to reach that lunch. So let's say you have lunch at 12. So you went to work at nine, 
have lunch at 12, keep it light with a salad with grilled chicken on top. Like I said, a Greek salad, grilled chicken, that's what I like. If you're on the run, go to Subway and get that salad. I made a video, I'll leave the link somewhere up here on uh, three easy meals, and I, one of them was a Subway salad. Uh, you know, it's not ideal, but it's, it's for your busy lifestyle. So you have a salad for lunch. Fuck those sandwiches with the bread. Don't bring that. Don't do that. Have a salad with protein. You have that. When you're ready to come home, come home. Get your pre-workout or whatever you do. Go to the gym. After the gym, then you have your big meal. Eat like a king at night. So you go to you go to the gym at 5.30 when you get home. You work out for an hour, hour and a half. Then you have your big meal. That's two meals a day. I know you're probably saying, oh, I, I can't survive on two meals. Bro, if you want those abs, if you want those abs, from, from the jump, just have two meals a day for a little bit. Now, I also have maintenance plans. Once you have that six pack, how to keep it and eat whatever the fuck you want, which I'll leave a link up here uh, of that video on how to eat whatever you want. Uh, there's ways around it. Once you have that six pack, that's the baseline. Yeah, I really wanted to get a little more in depth on what you should eat in order to get a six pack. As I told you, intermittent fasting, a big salad at around 12, one o'clock. That's if you're a nine to fiver. I'm making this video for the nine to fivers out there working. And the last meal of the day should be something big with a lot of protein, carbs, and vegetables. Just eat like a king. You can eat big, but make sure you only have two meals a day at first. And then sooner or later, you know, once you get that six pack, you can uh, work with a different kind of schedule. You can work, you can maybe eat three times a day, or you can do the whole five, six, seven meals a day if you really want to. Uh, I find that uh, very useless with someone that's working, you know, working nine to five or just has a busy lifestyle who has time to eat five, six meals a day. So, again, protein in every meal is so important. A lot of people think they're eating a salad and they think that uh, that's healthy. If you're just eating a salad, uh, it is healthy, but you're not going to build muscle. You need to have a lot of protein and have protein in every single meal. So with this plate here, let's split it into half. So right here, we're going to use <laughs> we're going to use these uh, tomatoes as the protein. So here we go. These are, this is protein, okay? So don't get confused. Half of the plate used as protein. So maybe two big pieces of chicken, a big piece of steak. Now we'll use this avocado for vegetables. So we're gonna split the next, next half of the plate into quarters. So that is vegetables. And we'll use this empty coffee cup as carbs. So protein, carbs, vegetables. Now it depends how much you weigh. This could be a huge plate. You can have two of these plates if you're weighing 280 pounds and you're and you're full of muscle. So you know this is a this is a a, a, a baseline or just a just an example of how that big meal should look like. Now that should be for around a month, maybe two months, depends how much fat you gotta lose. But now let's discuss what you should do in the gym. I hear a lot of people say, oh, uh, the abs are made in the kitchen. Uh, they're not really made in the kitchen, man. They're made in the gym. So you really gotta go to the gym and work out your abdominal area in order to see your abs. And a lot of people neglect that. They, they don't like working out the abs or they just go through the motion. Uh, they're not really working out their abs. They're just going through the motion, maybe looking at their phone, staring at their phone and not really, uh, not really working out hard in the gym. So you need to work out hard in the gym and you need to really push yourself when you're working out your abs, you're working out your core. So that's the, that's a main problem I see with guys in the gym you know maybe they have their diet in check but 
they're not really working out their six pack to the capacity. So you need to work out your abs every single time you're in the gym. Every single time. I don't care if you need rest days or anything like that. If you're in the gym, work out your abs. And a great way to work out your abs is on, let's say you work out on a Monday. Monday, you work out your abs with weights, pushing yourself, treating it like every other muscle. And then let's say you work out on Tuesday or even Wednesday. Let's just use Tuesday as, as an example. You work out Tuesday, don't use any weights. Just you do crunches, leg raises, stuff like that that has no weights. Then let's say you work out Wednesday if you're going to work out three consecutive days. Uh, Wednesday, then you, work out your, then you work out your abs with weights. So you go back and forth, back and forth. And in no time, with the diet in check, let's say you follow that eating program for a month. That's intermittent fasting. That's a salad to break your intermittent fast. Then at night, you're eating like I showed you. And then you're also working out your abs. You're going to see great results in a matter of a month. Now, follow this. I'm going to get a little more in depth on other videos on how to get a six pack, also how to build muscle and get the super fit men look. So hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button below if you found this valuable. Subscribe. There's going to be plenty more videos on how to be super fit and get a six pack and just be the ultimate man.